हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल स्टडी सिंपल टुडे आई विल टेल यू फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच हाउ यू कैन सेट अप द किक्यूम्बर प्रोजेक्ट इन इक्लिप्स यूजिंग मैवन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप किक्यूम्बर प्रोजेक्ट इन इक्लिप्स यूजिंग द मैवन एंड आई विल टेल यू द डिटेल स्टेप ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बिल्ड अ किक्यूम्बर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग यूजिंग मैवन एंड इक्लिप्स so let's begin the session and in the meantime kindly like my channel and also press the bell icon so that you get notified when a new video gets uploaded in this tutorial i will show you how you can create a maven project in eclipse then what are the dependencies required that you need to add in the pom.xml to make our cucumber project create a package for the step definition for the runner and the feature files I have already discussed in one of our videos what is step definition what is runner and what is feature file so you can always refer to those videos I have given the link in the description then I will create a step definition files uh, runner file and a feature files okay then I will write some code and run the project using junit so our agenda is to create a simple Cucumber project using JUnit and that is also from Maven. Couple of required dependencies and optional dependencies are there. The required dependencies are Selenium, Cucumber, Cucumber JUnit, and JUnit, and optionals are REST, Azure, JSON Path, Hamcrest, and TestNG. There can be more required dependencies and more optional dependencies. We will learn about those. in while we are going to execute or do a hands on but overall this is the main dependencies that you need to add to create skeleton of the project so directly jump into the hands on session by opening the eclipse and let's create a cucumber project from scratch under doing each and every steps i will refer to this road map once again okay after completing each and every step i will refer this road road map so that you can so that you can understand what i am going to do and this road map will be also helpful for you to create a setup or to create a maven project from scratch so let's begin the session of creating a maven project from scratch hands on using eclipse and in this video i will show you how you can install the maven plugin for eclipse so that you can create a simple maven based project so go to the help section click on eclipse marketplace marketplace is nothing but just like a uh, google play store where you had download all the apps it is just the marketplace for eclipse where you find the suitable plugins and install it from there in the search button you will write maven integration or simply you can write the maven and give a search once you give a search you will have a lot of plugins available to you you will download the maven maven java wwe integration plugin for eclipse you will see all the plugins are there for you uh, you will download for this moment download the first one and click on the install Once you click on install the system will calculate the requirement dependencies everything and it will give you a terms and conditions where you need to accept the terms and conditions and click on the finish button Once you click on the finish button the maven plugin for the eclipse will get downloaded and installed in the eclipse only it will download all the softwares it will download all the dependencies and everything required for running the maven plugin for eclipse just click on the restart now and it will restart the eclipse of your machine and the, all the new softwares will get implemented in your eclipse ide our eclipse ide is getting restarted so we have the eclipse opened up again and it is doing some kind of previous installation complete so we will have to wait for some time so that the installation is fully getting completed and our system is getting ready so in the progress bar we can see that nothing is there so we can now create a simple maven project go to new and you can go to 
other and in this wizard just write maven once you write the maven we have the three options opened up maven project just click on next so as you have installed the maven plugin that's why you, you will getting the option to build a maven project in the eclipse else you don't have that this tutorial is completely same as how we have installed the maven plugin for eclipse in the same way we will search the cucumber plugin once we click on the search we will have all the plugins available in front of us we will just hit on install and that's it we will restart and it will install the cucumber plugin for eclipse so let's see how we can do that in the search we have the marketplace ready click on cucumber click on the search and we will have the first option cucumber eclipse plugin so remember we will have to click on this one cucumber eclipse plugin accept the terms and conditions click on finish and it will start installing the software so practically it will start installing the plugin and it will add to the current eclipse ide which you are using just click on the restart now okay so we will have our eclipse ready just go to the project click on new you will write there cucumber cu and we will have this folder named cucumber within this we have this step definition class so this is how we have installed the cucumber plugin for our existing project At this position you have the Maven plugin for Eclipse and also the Cucumber plugin for the Eclipse. Now you have to create a Maven project. Let's begin the session of how to create a Maven project. On the package explorer you see an option create a project. As there is no project here therefore it is giving an option to create a project, create a Java project or import project. If you have already a project on the package explorer if you do a right click you will get an option to create a new project okay so for me i will create a project here and this will give a wizard from where we can select the java project or j2e project or a maven project we will create a maven project so we will go to maven and we will select this one maven project the third one maven project once we are done we will click on next do click a sub first option create a simple project skeleton okay this will create the simple project and click on next now you have to give, give a group id okay copy this one paste it here just give the same thing this is uh, just you can always change this one from prom.xml so don't need to worry about it just give anything you want and click on the finish see the maven project is ready see j and maven project j means java and m for maven okay so this is done you can always go to the package explorer and expand this one to see the skeleton yes you have the prom.xml so the our second thing is done we have created a maven project now the fourth one is the add dependencies required if you remember the first slides i have shown you some required dependencies and some optional dependencies so it is the high time to add those dependencies on pom.xml we will open the pom.xml see this is the main project tag so inside the project tag we will write their dependencies okay now you have to add those dependencies that i have discussed some some are optional some are required so first we will add those required dependencies one by one to add the required dependencies the first thing that we need to do is that we will go to the maven central and the first dependency that in the search we will write selenium we will have this one selenium java we will open this one
and we will choose the most used version that is 222 that is 3.4 we will not use the alpha one once we have this we will just copy here once we click on this it will get copied to clipboard so it is done now we will go back to our project and we will add the selenium dependency okay once we are done with the selenium come to the cucumber one we will copy the cucumber java this one we will use this one 5 the highest version 5.5 .5. copy okay This is Cucumber Java is done. The next thing is that Cucumber JUnit. So we will again go to the Maven Central. So you will copy the Cucumber JUnit. Okay. And copy this one. And paste it here. So till now we have the Selenium, Cucumber Java and Cucumber JUnit. Now you have to add the plain j unit also go to j unit this one j unit and just copy this one okay copy this one and paste it three of the dependencies has been added now you will press the control s once you press the control s you can see that the building operation has been started which means our dependencies are getting downloaded from the maven central in the meantime we will add also the optional dependencies also we will add the rest assured the rest assured is mainly used to do api testing okay so we will add it because uh, in the in couple of next videos i will also show you how to do a uh, api testing using the cucumber we will use the rest assured also and we will also use the json path okay copy this one this json path okay now uh, we have used the json path 4.3.0 so let me also change the rest assured also to 4.3.0 if you don't have the same versions you can have a problem in the latest sections so we have changed the json path and the rest assured to both to 4.3.0 to so that it will not have any conflict it might have any it might have some conflict because of the different version so we will prefer to use the same version for the rest assured and json path i have also added some dependencies the same way i have shown the hamcrest hamcrest.core java hamcrest hamcrest core and hamcrest library i have also added another dependency called testng 6.4.13 the same way i have shown to add the other dependencies so i have used these dependencies okay to uh, make our project skeleton of the project ready now after doing all those dependencies i have i will go to projects and clean the project so the project is clean and all the maven dependencies has been downloaded if we can check there is a folder called maven dependencies and in that folder we have downloaded all the dependencies using the pom.xml so once we add the pom.xml all the dependencies and the required dependencies will be automatically downloaded from the maven central now we will proceed to the next step of our roadmap the next step is the create the packages and folders for the step definitions so i will quickly show you how we can create the packages and the folders for the step definition file runner file and the feature files and uh, i will also show you the, how to write the sample code and give the execution so i have already created these things you can go to the src test java and you once we click on the give a right click new and you have the package options okay in the package options you have to write the step definitions you can write here step definition 
okay once you write the step definition you will have this step definitions folder created or the package created in the same way you have the test runner where you keep the runner classes okay once we are done with this one we will create a feature folder where you can keep all the features also we can keep the feature folder in the resources folder i have created another folder for it you can also create the feature inside the resource folder okay so i have created into another a folder outside this resource folder and created the feature files for it okay so i will show you how you can run this one i have written some sample codes all the sample codes i will describe in the next videos okay i have written some codes in there and i have written a runner class also so let me run this class just click i will show you how to run this one i will go to the i will go to the runner and run as a j unit test so we have some data coming out here so the class is running okay fine so at this position you don't need to understand what i have written or what is written here okay a lot of codes are written here so you, you don't need to understand at this point i will explain each and everything in the next video at this point i have shown you how to create the project structure and how to create those project one more time i am saying just create the once you have done our projects ready once you have the maven dependencies added just go to the src test java give a right click go to new then go to package and give the step definitions package this one is the step definition and also create another package known as test runners package in which you will have the runner class create those two packages and if you want you want to create a feature folder inside the resources folder or you can create the feature folder outside the resource folder it's according to your own wish where you want to pick, keep these files organized okay once you are done with everything just go to the runner class this one is the runner i have written the runner give a right click run as j unit test this will run the code you have written so our cucumber testing project is running and in the next video i will go in details about the runner class step definition class feature files and reporting and every other things in cucumber till then bye bye and also if you like my video kindly subscribe to my channel give a like button and always hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i upload a new video generally i do upload three to four videos a week so you will get always notified about new upcoming videos